Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name's Sturks, welcome back to The Outer Wilds. Last time was a bit emotional, and then we ended with a bang. So I think that was quite quite a good quite a good way to go. It wasn't a good way to go, it was the worst way possible to go. What I'm going to do today, we're not going to explore that first settlement, that kind of precursor know my settlement on the Brittle Hollow. What we're going to do, we're going to follow the path. Right? Because I want to go see the Black Hole Forge. Um, that was kind of where my mind immediately went when I found out that that's what we found the path to, or what I presume we found the path to. The problem was we explored that settlement first, and by the time we got around to going back to the path, Brittle Hollow had done its thing, um, and we were lost. So yay. Also, thank you guys so much for the love and the support so far, as usual. Just to let you know, there is a charity event coming up very, very soon, and there's also going to be multiple charity events coming out. So check out the community page for all the information. It's just something that I'm wanting to do for very personal reasons, and hopefully you guys can come and you know give give a little bit of support. In the meantime, though, I'm not going to do much jibber jabbering at the beginning of this. One. I just want to get on with it. I want to get into the game. Um, I have missed this. I was going to do a second episode last week, but work was flipping busy. And I didn't have the time. I just, I did not have. It sounds daft. I didn't have even just like a spare half hour to just sit and record this, and then a spare hour to edit it and upload it. You know, I just didn't have the time. This week, I've got loads of time, so you're going to see loads of content. I'm also hoping to finish Firewatch this week. Um, come hell or high water, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we will see. Let's wake up, and let us dash straight to the ship, and get to Brittle Hollow before the path disintegrates. I need to get to the Black Hole Forge, I need to know more about um, what they were getting up to there, and I need to see what Poke got up to there, because Poke, from the sounds of it, that was kind of like their, almost their pride and joy. You know, they they did spend a lot of time there. Um, they're responsible for figuring out how to recreate the a known as warp core. Well, at least that's the impression that I get. I could be completely wrong, but to me, that's that's my interpretation of it so far. I also have a lovely coffee, and I'm going to use the autopilot because I've mellowed. It is so much easier. It just is. <laughs> and I ignored you guys for like 17 episodes before I tried it, but we're here now. And right where we need to be. Thank you, look at that. This is not a sight for sore eyes. Let's get down here and let's get doing a little bit of parkour. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it down pop it down here. Ooh, poppadons. I like poppadons. I haven't had poppadons in a long time. I want some. Anyway, it's enough about me and my foodie habits. I'm stuck already. That's a good start. Stacks. Please, hollow lantern, just hold out. I don't really want to not get there because you destroyed the platforms. I don't know. Ah, that was all right. It's just machines. It's all right. I've got two of them for a reason. They're disposable. Uh, there we go, everyone. Fantastic. Steaming ahead. I am going to do an entire episode sometime dedicated to this. Um, but is it here? No, I need to go further up. I am going to do a full episode dedicated to exploring this settlement. I can't remember the name of it. I'm going to call it the first settlement. Um, but that's not today. It's not today. What we're going to do? Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Look at this. Is it's no longer so much a hanging city, that's looking more like, oh my god, 
That is incredible. Come on, we're nearly here. <laughs> I love this game. People have said, and it, it really kind of touched me, they, they made a comment about how I reminded them of another content creator that does um, out of wild stuff. And I, I took that as a, a massive, massive compliment, you know? Um, but what they ended up kind of elaborating on was how, while this other content creator was very good at you know, picking up on things and miss, you know, picking up on things that people often miss, but then missing things that people pick up on, which remind you of anyone. Um, oh no, this isn't taking me away to where I need to be. I was lied to. But essentially, I managed to bring back that feeling that you guys have. I have like a way of showing you exactly how I'm feeling and how I'm feeling it. Um, which for me is a really nice feeling to know that I'm able to do that for you guys. What? Oh, dog. There's stairs there. Does that mean... How can I? Maybe. F ah! <clears throat> that could have been a disaster. Oh no, have I messed up? Right, let's see. Can I. Can I park on my way up here? Also, this soundtrack is hauntingly beautiful. And the more that I... Oh my god. The more that I know about the Nomai, and the more that I know about individual characters, the more this soundtrack is making me want to cry. I can definitely feel myself getting... Oh, you... Let's start that again, shall we? <laughs> Rest in peace, Hatchling. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm not having that be my legacy for that loop. I'm committing to exploring that part of the city. I just hope we can actually get to the Black Hole Falls, otherwise I've just offed my hatchling for no good reason. I guess we'll find it, won't we everyone? Right, Riddle Hollow. No, Riddle Hollow. There we go. And let's go. Right, autopilot. There we go. Anyway, what I was saying... I do feel emotionally attached to this game um, and I'm very happy that you guys can see and interpret said emotion as we're going through things. It's, it's always nice to hear that I'm doing my job well. It's not my job, but you guys know what I mean. I don't get paid for this. I do this because I enjoy it. And I will continue to do it because I enjoy it and because you guys enjoy it. Touchdown. Right. I also saw someone said that I give them massive anxiety because I don't put on the suit. And I should probably just, like, put on the suit at all times. Um, and that they feel naked without it. Well, if I can make you feel a little bit uncomfortable during this journey, I will take that opportunity. Because it's fun. Um, also, to me, I just like whatever levels of immersion I can get in these kind of games. And for me, something as simple as taking off my suit and putting my suit back on is more than good enough for me. You know? At least now we get another beautiful, beautiful look 
at the city. I just hope we can find a way to the Black Hole District because it's, it's it, like the, the Forge District is right up at the top. And this is going to get us pretty near the top, but I, there's got to be another way up there. Like we saw the the buildings were kind of inverted, so that, that implies that there is a way to get that gravity up there. I just don't know how. Does maybe that is maybe that why I need to bring the the what's I'm gonna call it up? Does like the black hole forge itself have any level of gravity? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I might just be kind of clutching at straws here, to be fair. Which is entirely plausible. So I need to get in there. But for now, we'll start off here. What we started off before. And I am actually going to have a bit of a look this time. I'm not just going to run into this all brain dead like. Uh, so I need to go that way. Again, the soundtrack. Absolutely haunting. Ah, ah. Right, I need to go... Okay, this is the up. I need to find a way inside. We've been here. I've been here. Have I come all this way for no good reason? I have been here. This is the school. How? There's a warp. The Brittle Hollow Warp. Do I need to... Right, I have a plan. I don't know how well we're going to be able to do that plan, but we're going to go for it. Um, I'm not going to look at school again, because the school will make me cry now that I've uh, got really attached to everything. What is going on? Please! No! Ah, gosh! Freaking... Darn it! Well, at least we're on the black hole for us, I guess. Oh, guys. God. This is the episode where the hatchling loses all semblance of sen like, just sanity and I... Rah! Right. Sergei's gonna have a hell of a job on this one. This is for you, Sergei. If you don't know, guys, by the way, there's a, there's a chap called Sergo who's been commenting on every video religiously, counting all my deaths. Let's begin again. God, you guys are... There's going to be some guys getting... Oh my god, I get more than one loop in this episode? Yes? Because they were really short loops, they don't count. Now, I think... I need to... I think I maybe need to drop the Black Hole Forge. I feel like otherwise there's not really much point in doing that. And we've got loads of time till the Ash Twin reveals the towers. Then we just got to find the right tower and hope that they're still operational. Oh boy, what if they're not operational? What if I waste an entire episode because they're not actually functioning? I'm gonna presume that they're operational because the, the twin is definitely receiving power. Like you can see that it's receiving power because the, the big like solar kind of pylons or whatever you want to call them they are glowing, which in my engineering brain tells me that those things are working. 
But in the meantime, let's do, let's do this journey. Oh, you. Mm, oh. I was about to fall out with this game then. Let's go make this journey one more time. We'll drop the Black Hole Forge. Try to find a way back to the surface. And start again. Um, my eye is also running at the moment. It's not because I'm crying. It's because I'm still suffering massively from hay fever. This year, for some reason, it's much worse than usual. And I feel like I just want to tear my eyeballs out. That's about it. That's that's about the, the sums up my hay fever experience. And I don't even know why. I, I mean, I know exactly why. It's because I work outside now. But it's also been relatively cool and damp, which in my head should tell me that the pollen count is going to be lower. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm not like a biologist or whatever you're going to class that as. I'm not that clever. I just work here, guys. I just... Ah, good heavens. Right. I'm on a mission. That looked a bit like a coke can then that just flew across the screen. I don't know what it was. I'm on a mission. I'm not going to fail. We're going to get over there. We're going to raise the black hole forge. Then I'm going to really quickly try to get back across that path before everything bad happens. Come on. This soundtrack is cruel. This soundtrack is cruel. I love it. I love it, but it makes me feel so many of the things. It makes me feel all the things. Right, let's get down here. That's the thing. I don't know why else we would need to drop this forge. But it's an option to drop it, so I'm going to drop it. Right? To me, that's telling me something. Unless do I... Hmm. I was tempted to try parkour my way onto that really quick. But I don't think I would have made it. I think the way to do this is through... The warp tower. Right? Because otherwise, why would it teach us that the warp towers are a thing? This game teaches you things for a very good reason. Ah! No! Please tell me I didn't need that bit. Please tell me I didn't need that bit. I... Don't believe we needed that bit. I think we can get away with that. I think we can cope structurally without that individual piece. How did I not notice these were here before though, guys? Right? Like, the, these were here. They're so obvious and I missed them. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. I'm not even going to think about the possibility of the Brittle Hollow doing its thing. I'm just going to continue and pray that I make it. This is looking good. All well, the bits are still very much here. Oh my god, look at this bloody place. I think Brittle Hollow is becoming my favourite of the planets. I think it just is. And then look at that. Look at this coming the other way. There's just no words for this. I'm, I like to think I'm an incredibly eloquent individual, where right? I can put across my thoughts, I can put across my feelings, and this game is making that incredibly difficult to do, and I don't hate it for that, I, in fact I adore it for that. Anything that can challenge me in any kind of way for me is, you know, worth more than its weight in gold. Which is good, because games don't weigh very much. Oh! Apparently I do, though.
<laughs> oh. Like a glove. Right. Where are we going next? Sturks. Um, we are going to the good old twins. I'm not going to the ember. We're going to ash. And we're going to scoot one over there. I am going to manually pilot this one because I don't trust the autopilot to not just kind of yeet us into Ember. There's another voice break for you guys for free. I'm going to blame that on the fact it's quite early in the morning and all I've had to drink is a part of a cup of coffee. Right, now I need to figure out which one of the towers is the correct one. I can't remember which one it is. I guess we'll find out. I love this place. I love this game. I love I love this. Have I mentioned that before, guys? Oh, this game just makes me incredibly happy. Why is my nose itching? Ah! Right, let's refuel. I'm gonna wait in here just till I see the sands drop a little bit. We're gonna have have a moment. Ship, ship. Oh boy, that was close. Right, so. Don't know which one that one is. I don't know which one any of these are. Is that Brittle Hollow? I don't know which one's Brittle Hollow. I'll be completely honest. Which one's this one? I know it does say in them, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure one of them does say which one is the Brittle Hollow. Oh boy, um, well, I need to drop down here. Um, not this one. This one isn't a brittle hollow. Oh my god. I don't feel like I can outrun that, so I'm just gonna wait a moment. I cannot outrun the orbit of a planet. That would be incredibly silly. I feel like I could have outrun the orbit of a planet, actually. There's gotta be... Oh no, because that's... This is the, the challenge, isn't it, that we found. Where there's like gotta be a way through. There's gotta be a way through. Oh, do I try it? Do I try it? That goes the whole way around. I don't actually know which one is the Brittle Hollow. And that's going to frustrate me. There is definitely a warp platform in there, but I don't know which one it is. Because I, I know which one is the Timber Hearth one. Because we found it, right? We we found which one of these? Because it looks a bit like the geysers on um, Timber Hearth. But now I cannot, for the life of me, remember which one was Brill Hollow. I can't remember if this one says. Will this one tell us which one this is? Maybe. Oh, I went down the wrong one. That needs to be over here. Oh. Let's find it out. We have read this before. Um, 
Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We're planning the Ash Twin project. Okay, I'm lost in between. Okay, so what's this one then? Why are there two? Right, that's got to be Timber Hearth. Right? It's got to be. Especially because it's got all the trees and stuff. This has got to be Timber Hearth. I'm going to say this one's Timber Hearth. Am I just going to have to guess? Brittle Hollow. This has got to be Brittle Hollow. That looks, that looks hollowy. Yeah, this one's got to be Brittle Hollow. Now it's got to wait, I guess. Don't jump. Please tell me I'm right. If not, I'm going to be a bit sad. Now, I just need to wait for it to line up, if my memory serves me correctly. Quickly now. I know I wasted time because I couldn't figure out which one it was. Right, there's the bramble. There's the sun again. Come on. I hope I don't have to like activate this thing or something. Oh! We did it! I made it! I made it! Oh. Black Hole Forge. Oh my god. Right, before I go to Black Hole Forge, I just want to have a look at the bottom of this tower. Oh no. That's not really what I wanted to happen, but I'll have a look while we're here. Exit to the surface. Okay, that's back down the tower. Anything of use in here? No. Cool, okay. Look at this. So I need to stay on this platform. If I go off this platform, I'm going to fall. So for once, we're not going to take any shortcuts. I'm going to follow this to the letter. Oh my god. Oh, I was right to bring it up. I was so right to bring it up. Especially because I don't have a thing. Is the thing in here? Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Hole Forge is in operation. That one has its eyes closed, so that's not paired with anyone. Who was it meant for? Was it? Didn't mean to do that. Was it made for Poe? Maybe. Maybe it was made for Poke. Alright, let's have a look. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they are ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, though, so these will be greater pain in your cervical spine. My gratitude. In that case, Pope Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first call to Ash Twim, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow, he is familiar with them. Okay, so we do know that. We've, we found that info. 
this feels more emotional because we found what happens to Poke and Clary. Even though I knew they were already dead, I, I think there's something personal about the fact we've actually found them and we've we've finalized what happens to them. And now this feels kind of reminiscent. This is more like this feels now like going through my dad's old photographs. If that makes sense. It, you know, it feels more like ah this is what they used to do or this is what they did once. It's just a slightly different change in perception. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate, because its warp receiver will never align overhead. So your romantic interest in a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. Now, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realise the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body, with a shard alignment point in between them. What? Why do I feel like that's really important and I don't quite have the intellect to figure that out yet? That's what the two towers are. One of them... Is that how I get inside the Ash Twin? There were two towers with a bridge between them that looks a lot like the Hourglass Twins, but they both had... They both have a, a, a platform. But why would you have two platforms if you're already on the Ash Twin? Is Poke, you're a genius. Oh, I could kiss you. Regarding the warp towers of Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? We don't need the alignment to be exact, it's only exact. Only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Oh, wait. As such, any gnomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. I enjoy precision as much as the next gnomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not Poke. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. Right. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. This has got to be it, right? I've got to... Did I figure it out? Don't actually tell me if I figured it out. I don't want to know if I figured it out. I'm going to find out in the next episode if I figured it out. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I have good news, Yarrow. An advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. Poke is a girl. We find out. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashwin project decides to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. So 
two, three. This has got to be it. I've got to be so smart. Oh my god. This was worth it. This was worth dying twice to get here. Actually, we've died a lot more than twice to get here. This is genius. I feel so smug. I feel so happy. I could be wrong, but that's what we're going to need next episode. We're going to go to the center of the Ash Twin. We're going to find the masks. Hopefully see if we can find out who that third mask belongs to, because it belongs to someone. And I don't know who. But do I want to go there yet? Or is it too soon? I have so many doubts. Anytime I feel like I'm progressing in this game, I feel scared to progress. Because I don't know what's around the corner. I don't know... I know you guys have said it's going to be very obvious when I'm about to end the game, but I'm oblivious. I'm ignorant. I don't pick up on things. Well, I do pick up on things, but I don't pick up on things that would tell me that, you know, the game is about to end. Because I'm a little bit dim sometimes. <sighs> My god, I love this game. That is the most Yorkshire I've sounded in a very long time. Poke, you're a genius girl, and I now know that you're a girl, and I feel bad that I've not known that you're a girl this whole time. We've done it though, we've explored the Hanging City. I can guarantee there's still more to explore in the Hanging City, we'll have missed things. I'll have to have a check up sometime on our ship log, just to double check, just to find out. I need more. I need more. But now I'm not playing this till Wednesday. I have to, I've I've got to get more Firewatch done tomorrow. So I need to get Firewatch done because there's a bunch more games that I want to do for you guys that I, I want to play. And because I feel like I do with this, it's it's an emotional game and I want to show you guys those emotions and help you guys feel them. And there's a bunch of other games I want to do too. And I don't want this journey to end, not yet. I'm not ready for it to end. Not yet. One day. Not now. Anyway guys, thank you all so much. I hope this has been worth the delay in getting this to you all. I'm going to keep it up for the rest of the week. Though. I'm going to go chill now. And just let that kind of mind blown feeling slowly kind of dissipate for a little while. And we'll be back. As always, guys, I have been Sturks. You guys have been absolutely incredible. And I'll catch you all around for the next part of our little adventure.